Yes, in this video, we are going to see the pre-ordered uh, traversal of binary search tree with recursion. So this is the code for pre-ordered traversal. Here we pass the root node and then with the root address, uh, we do. Uh, root, in, root is assigned to temp. And here after we use the only the temporary pointer. We don't disturb the root. So here we check whether temp is equal to first it will be passing 100. That will be the pre-order 100. So it checks whether that pre-order here it will be the temporary node. So oh, this is the temporary node. Temp is also assigned to root. So actually after this statement, when it passes the root node, so now temp is pointing this. So using this temp pointer only, we traverse the whole thing. We will not be using the root node hereafter. Now it checks whether temp is equal to null or not. If it is equal to now, here it is not equal to null. So what happens? Uh, but uh, since it has called, the function call will push the value, that is a function uh, along with its value into the memory star. So this is what? So first it is called with that. So that will be first pushed into the stack and this will be executed. So here it is not equal to null. So the next statement which is nothing but printing of the data portion that will be done. It is nothing but here step. So in our pre-order traversal first parent and then it's left tree, left cell and right cell. This is the, uh, this is how it will be printed. So now we'll see, we'll do how we do. Okay, later. But first we will execute the coding now what happens in the next statement again pre-order of temp left what is the temp left of this this is nothing but 200 so now it will push that uh, this function call into the memory stack this is the memory stack let us imagine so that will be pushed into the stack now here uh, so now it checks now when it calls here it checks it is equal to none. no then the value present in the data field will be printer now it prints the value six okay then the next statement is again pre-order of template which is nothing but its template is 250 so here 250 is pushed into the memory stack then uh, again here it calls it is not equal to null this is not equal to null so the data present data value is printed which is nothing but here four Then uh, after this is over 250. Now again, this will be called. This is the uh, temp. Uh, since it is, uh, when it moves here, according to the statement, temp left, which is nothing but zero here. But it is equal to null. So what happens here? It pops this 250 is pop, and then it moves to its temp right. Here also it is equal to null. So what happens? Uh, the next statement uh, on the top of the stack. Then because of this null, it returns. And then this value will be popped, which is present in the uh, memory stack. Top of the stack now, this is the memory top of the stack. So that will be popped. Now, what happens here? Uh, this will be checked whether it is equal to null. If it is null, then it is. Or else, the value which is present in this will be uh, printer since it is already printed it moves to its this is also done already temp left is also done so it moves to the temporary right now it moves take a turn and it moves to the, that will be pushed into the stack so now what happens after it is pushed now this will be called again with this value p of 300 now it checks it is not equal to none so it exit this statement which is nothing but the value present in the memory location that is 8 that will be printed now okay that will be printed now this this statement is executed then it comes to its left this is the temp now now temp is this so its left is equal to null so what happens when there is a null return so this will be pop okay uh, whenever there is a return this will pop and then the data portion since it is already printed this will be left and already left it has been a null so it moves to its right again here it is 
null. So what happens when that is a null? Again, pop the top value in this. So what happened? This pre hundred. This will be popped from the memory stack. Now, what happens here already? Uh, when it executes that bit loop here temporary, it is not equal to null. So already the value is printed. So this statement will not get executed. Here temp left that is also visited. So now temp right, which is nothing but 150. So now the value 150 is uh, pushed into the set. Let us say 150. Let me edit this. So this is what the value which is pushed into the stack. So after that, it checks whether it is equal to null. No. If it is equal to null, then this value will be popped. But since it is not equal to null, the value which is present in the temp data, that is here, it is nothing but 18. That value will be printed. Next, what happens here after printing temp left? This is the temp. Its left is 350. So that value is pushed into the stack. That is 350. So that is pushed into the, the temp left. After that, what happens? Here it goes. Again, this will be called 350. Here, temp is not equal to null. So the value which is present there will be printed. That is, it prints the value 50. Then what happens? This moves temp right. Temp left is a null. So what happens? Return. So when it sees a return, this 350 will be popped. And then already left is uh, visited, so it visits the right. Here again, it is null. So what happens? Again, it is popped. When there is a return, the top will be popped. So now this value will be popped, and already the data field is printed there. Okay, so now what happens? Here, it goes to the temporary left. Left is also visited already, so temp right. 150 uh, temp right. This is now temp. So its right is visited. Now what it will do? It will push the value 400. So now that value is pushed. Now this becomes a temp. Now this becomes a temp. Now here uh, it goes inside. Since it is not equal to null, the value present in the temp data, which is nothing but our 21. So that value will be printed now. So after printing that, here it goes temp. Temp left is null. So when it sees a null, what happens? It returns. So now what happens? This will be popped. So after popping, already the data value is printed. So that will not be executed. Temp left is also we have seen. Now temp right. What is it? It is 0. So when it sees a 0, uh, when it is null, then return. So that even checks the memory stack. There is no top element empty the stack is empty so it return so this is your output so now we will see how uh, pre order traversal log uh, theoretically first what we have seen is first parent is printed then left tree and then right so when it says parent what is the parent here it is the root is the parent for all the things so first it will be printed then it moves towards left when it says left this is not just a child this again it is a parent so this will be printed so because according to our algorithm, first parent will be printed. Then it moves to its left. So left is nothing but 4. Then move to its right. So right child is printed. And then it goes down. Already we have printed, printed the parent node. Now we move towards the right. Parent is printed. Then it's left subtree. Within left subtree, again the parents will be printed. And then left and then right. Again here, when it comes to right child, this is the right subtree of this. In this right, this is the parent. So first that will be printed. And then in this, after this, for this parent, this is the left child. So that will be printed next. And then we will see the right child, which is nothing but 21. So if you see this algorithm, theoretical, I have explained. So you can see, check the answer, what we have exuded through the regression. So both are same.